Hi everybody! Welcome back to Fallout 4. We are back here at Shea Rufio. It's undergone a couple of little cosmetic changes. Look, it looks like it's actually perched on top of Rufio's old house instead of uh, floating in midair now. Uh, which is kind of cool. Anyway, we're taking a little break from what we would normally be doing in Fallout 4 today to build something. That's right. Rufio is rapidly, um, sort of filling up his old house with junk. As you can see here, look, there's just a ton of junk in here that he's been collecting. He's like the Wally of the Commonwealth. He's out there collecting all the junk and making these cool collections and stuff. And so far, so good. Everything is going fine. Look, the, um, pre-war money supply is, uh, ever-growing and... Marv is in there doing his job, and Jeff is in here doing his job as well, uh, keeping the place sexy. But, as you can see, poor Rufio is uh, just bursting at the seams here, and somebody's left an extinguisher on the ground. Alright, well, somebody's going to die for that. Uh, but anyway, uh, we need to move the collection. We need to move the collection into bigger digs, um, and maybe also uh, make it so that, you know, other people can live in here. Or maybe just, like, keep it as a museum and come back to it, but anyway. I think what we're going to do today is build some sort of, like, trash dungeon for Rufio. Uh, probably, like, over here, uh, where he's pointing at right now. I think we're going to make, like, a big, like, trash bunker so that Rufio can move some of his collection into there and live like a king in Sanctuary Hills in the settlement. Um, we've already got, like, the gates here and the walls, and we started building some more walls over there. So I think if we just sort of make this into, like, a compound with, like, other like little buildings and stuff like that we should be in pretty good shape all right fine well let's get to work it's pretty nice these things can actually like clip through the ground see like you can clip them in through the ground so you can actually make something elevated without it looking like it's floating in midair so I think we're gonna like use some of these things uh, as like the basis for like the the bunker and then have like some stairs that go into it so that you know uh, all like the uh, other servants and stuff can get <laughs> I love how I call everybody in the settlement a servant like they're just like some piece of trash all right fine so we'll start adding these things like here I think generally I want something like uh, this ish we'll have it like that and then it'll just mean that we'll have a little yeah okay this works this is fine okay so the entrance to the bunker will be here and we'll like we'll make it look like really nice and everything okay so we go here There'll be like this little sort of like mini bunker off to the side here. There'll be this hallway that you come into this big room. Actually, this room needs to be bigger. It's too small. All right, let's make it bigger. All right, that's more like it. Okay, we've actually got a lot of space to work with now. So we can actually make Rufio's trash bunker even bigger. Um, so we walk up here. We go down this like hallway here into this huge room here. And we can have like a, uh, a staircase that goes up or whatever. Uh, and I think we can actually move this. I think we'll move this here. We want this here because we want it to be like part of the bunker. And I think we probably want this bit to be part of the bunker too. Because maybe we can have like a little like power room or something. Man, a power room would be nice actually. And then there's this like little thing here. Okay, cool. So the whole thing is like elevated. And it occupies quite the area inside uh, sanctuary, but that's fine. Okay, cool. So I think we're gonna go for like metal walls. I think we want metal walls, and I think we probably want like a doorway to begin with. Do we want like a square doorway, or do we want like one of these round doorways? These round doorways look kind of cool, actually. Let's go for a round doorway. I think we can just like place it here. I think that's okay. Oh, neat. Okay, so the trash. The trash bunker is going to be made of metal because, wow, the metal looks really fucking good. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, cool. We're going to use this metal and we're going to make this trash bunker look the part, if possible. Oh, look, it gives its own floor as well. I mean, maybe we don't even need it to be raised up. I'm wondering now. Because it's actually got its own floor. Actually, I think most of these wall pieces do have their own little floor bits. It turns out we don't really need these foundations because all the metal bits come with floors. So we have to start from scratch hilariously already. Jesus. It didn't take very long to start from scratch but here we are starting from scratch. So we had that whole foundation set up 
and we didn't even need it. All right, fine. The foundation is now gone, and we go back to the metal stuff. So I think we could probably start with a doorway. Uh, we want like a circular doorway, right? So we want the thing to be around here, because this is the but this could be the entrance to the bunker, right? Okay, let's start with that and see how we get on. All right, so then we want like some of these things. We want like one of these. Oh, that's better. And then, can we actually like turn it around and? Oh, okay. This is, we're in business. This is much better. Oh God, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted like a big tunnel that you go through and it'll be like a museum sort of. And then once you get into the, oh, okay. This is much, much better. Fuck yeah, this is great. Okay, so you walk in here, you go down this corridor and then it leads out into like this vast sort of, okay, perfect. We want the corner bit on there. And then we want like that to go like that. And then we can put like racks and stuff in there too. Okay, that would be fine. And then we could just like fill it in with a little bit of wood. It might look a little bit sloppy, but I think it'll be okay. Okay. So we want this to like go right up against the side. Possibly. If that's possible. Okay, well it's at least level. That's something, right? If nothing else. Okay. And then can we... Yes. We can put this bit on the... Okay, great. We'll have another bit there. We'll have another bit like that. Hell, it's gonna come all the way back here. Man, this bunker is looking cool already. Alright, is this another corner piece? Yes, it is. We'll have a corner piece here and a corner piece here. And then we're gonna need some more walls to go... Crap. <laughs> Shit. Damn it. It's not quite square. What the hell? How did this happen? Where, where did we go wrong? Oh no. Oh, I see. I think we can like fill it in with like a little... Like one of these maybe? Is that a corner piece? Okay. I mean, it's not the best. <laughs> but it's at the back and maybe nobody will notice, right? But well, that's what we're hoping anyway. Okay, so we need to like fill this in now with a piece of wood. Just like a, a plank of wood or something. That's fine. I mean, it is a... It's a bunker made of trash. What do you expect, right? Like, it's not going to be perfect. It is going to be like a little bit trashy. Uh, but so far, so good. The, uh, the ground floor of the bunker with the uh, really exquisite tunnel leading into it is done. Oh, man. Oh, fucking Rufio's love dungeon is really coming along well now. Look at this. This is great. Look, we'll take like a commanding pose of Rufio in front of his lo love dungeon. Uh, look at that. Look at that. It's, this is the scene. It's Rufio circa 1963 during the construction of his one and only love dungeon. Excellent. Man, it's pretty cool that Rufio's going to have his own bunker out here amidst all of this other crap as well. All right. I think we need some floors though. Because uh, we need to, like, sort of marry it all up in here, possibly. We don't want any gaps. I don't know what we're going to do if there are gaps. <laughs> Shit. This curb is really causing some problems. Maybe we should have gone for the stilts. Damn it. Oh, look. It's not straight. <laughs> Shit. We're going to have to, like, hide some of this stuff. We're going to have to, like, put some planks down or something. Look, it's not straight. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, it's swell at the back. So where does it actually start to go like not straight? Because I think we can actually move the whole thing if we need to. All right, let's see if we can get this in here. Is that gonna fit? Is that gonna fit? Is that gonna fit? Is that gonna fit at all? No. All right, fine. Maybe we should have actually made the, the room first before we made like the love tunnel and stuff. <laughs> Maybe we could have saved ourselves. Look, it's like all... <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix this floor. Shit. I think that part's fine, actually. It's, uh, it's probably this part that's, like, not so fine. But it it's only takes, like, two seconds to build this again. So we'll, we'll get the room straight, and then we'll build the entrance to the love tunnel again after. And I think that, that'll be fine. Okay, let's get these floors down. Oh, look. We can actually get a floor there. Nice. All right. At last. <laughs> the whole thing... The whole thing is actually square, but 
Uh, it's not quite square. Okay, let's try to like place it. Can we, can we actually make the whole thing float in the air? I guess you can. <laughs> shit. Look at this thing. What's the point of being able to pick it up if you can't do shit with it? Oh, I guess it's because it's like so uneven. Like it has to... It has to figure out where it wants to like put it. Hey, what the hell are you looking at? Look at this fucking lady. He's just standing here smoking while I'm doing all the work. Hey, look, have you ever seen a bunker fly before, lady? Come and check this out. Wee! I like I like the idea that you could like build something out here and then pick it up and bring it back in. It's like a star destroyer enter entering sanctuary. Look, it's she's gonna clip right through it. Alright, fine. Alright, we need to like put this back where it was now. Hopefully, and also make sure that the uh, entrance and stuff. Oh! That works! Uh, that's kind of where I wanted it. Well, actually, it could do with going back a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. There, now it's got like the. <laughs> it's like a mouth into the sex dungeon. <laughs> nice. Alright, fine. So we want to have like a couple more of these. I should have enough steel to make this happen. It would be hilarious if I ran out. Okay, that, like that, and then the entrance, which we should be able to just shove onto the front. Like that. Great. And I think we can actually have a door there too. Alright, so, there we go. So far, so good. The sex dungeon. You enter it from here, like this, you get in there, and look. There's floors and everything, it's perfect in every single way, and I love it already, and it's great. Alright, cool. Let's put a door on the front. What kind of door do we want? I think even though this is like a really sexy trash bunker, I think we want something a little bit sort of like, um, I don't know, traditional? Let's go with a white door that has windows on it. I think that looks great. Look, so it gives it that homely feel. You know, you're walking into like a trash paradise effectively. But at the same time, look, you have that rustic feel as well. And of course, a door that opens out, which is like a huge no-no, but there you go. All right, fine. We have a door that opens out. Do we need like a little stair to go onto it? I think maybe a little stair is needed. I'm not sure. We'll try it out. We'll do like a little step here. Yes. Okay, that looks fantastic. Now you can step right up on in. You can go through this hallway. We'll have some cool lights and some pictures and stuff hanging up. You walk into this grand sort of room here. And this will be uh, like the downstairs bit. And then I think we're also going to want to have some stairs that lead up as well. Okay, perfect. Which takes us up to the top floor here. Great. Great. And which, of course, we're going to need some more floors for. So let's grab some of these. Shove the floors in. Make it nice. Oh, yeah. And the roof there, too. We'll have, like, a little balcony and stuff. Because why not, right? I mean, Rufio's pretty much going to live in this place. It's got to be right. The balcony can just be open, I think. How does that look? What are you people doing down there? What are you doing to my goddamn settlement, you assholes? Jesus. Alright. So this will be Rufio's boudoir. Uh, which is quite nice. And we're going to need a wooden wall here, I think, at the back. To fill in this gap. Well, it doesn't look amazing. But it'll do. We don't have windows or anything either, right? So, okay, fine. So the upstairs is like almost done. I think we need a uh, roof. Oh, the rounded roof. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. I quite like a rounded roof. Do we want it to be rounded like that? I guess we probably do. But then we've got this gap here as well, which is not the best. Okay, a roof, Io, Lorenzo, 
Alright, fine. And then we're gonna have to cheat a bit. So we're gonna have to make some stairs to get up onto the top of the roof. And then we're gonna have to get rid of these stairs. And we're gonna have to hopefully just make like a middle roof bit. But it's kind of hard because it wants to snap to something. And I'm not sure what. What do you want to snap to, boy? <laughs> That's kind of works. Look. You can just like sort of place it randomly there. Okay, look, there'll be like a little bit of overhang. <laughs> That's fine. Oh look, this is like this could could kind of work though. Because look, it's like a little like balcony sort of thing. We just need some poles to make it look like it's actually holding it up. And then that could be okay. Well, I'm pretty happy with that actually. I'm pretty happy with that. We have like a little balcony with cover from the rain as well which is actually incredible it's just sort of floating there but we might be able to like do something with like a pole or something <laughs> Should put these fucking spiked poles i mean the spiked poles are pretty big <laughs> what does this even mean what does this big spike pole do can i hang heads on it that'd be pretty sweet if i could actually heads of all of my victims Can you tell that thing to shut up, please? Jesus. Stop it. I'm trying to concentrate. What is that noise that you're making? Look, you've weighed it down way too much, lady. Look. Look. Its back is broken. That's what all the grunting is about. Anyway. So, um, so far, so good. It looks like the trash um, bunker is coming along quite well. Uh, of course, this is going to be where Rufio's stuff gets transferred into. Uh, I think some of it might stay in the house, but he'll just probably have more of like a living quarters and stuff in here. We'll have this like here so that Rufio is able to just casually roll out of bed of a morning, go over here, stand on his balcony and scream at everybody, telling them to get back to work, go out and collect more trash for the base, do this, do that, do the other. I think that that's probably fine, actually. We're gonna, like, see if we can get some really cool uh, furniture in here for him as well. Look, he's gonna need, like, a chair so that he can sit outside and just ponder. Ponder his recent actions whilst looking out. So, look, we can do that. Put a little chair there for him. It's really nice. And, of course, when he's inside as well, he might want something a little bit more comfortable to sit down on. Maybe, like, watch some TV or something. Uh, and of course, Rufio lives alone now. He lived with uh, Nora and Sean for all those years. And, uh, you know, he's pretty happy that they're gone now. He's got, like, his own stuff and he's got his own way of life now and he's sticking to it. Look, I think he needs, like, a bedside table. And this is where Rufio is going to sit down and do most of his thinking, I think. He's going to sit down on the toilet. You need, like, a shelf inside the... Um, well, I'm not sure, actually. Maybe we can have a shelf inside the bathroom so that he can put, like, his magazines on and stuff. Well, actually, we could do one better. Look, we can actually have a full magazine rack right next to the old... to the shitter. So that if Rufio is ever feeling tempted, you know, he can just... he can do it. Okay, we're gonna put up, like, a partition wall here as well. There. Now Rufio actually has a bit of privacy. That's nice. So he can come in here, he can sit down on the shitter. He can pick his favorite magazine. I don't think we can have like a sink or anything. Should we uh, see about getting a sink? No, he's got a shelf in here now. What's this containers? Oh yeah, we need like a... Does he need like a desk or something? He could do with having a dresser. He can have a dresser here. Perfect. And he can also have a desk that he can work at. That'll be nice if he ever has a computer. I think a safe would be cool, though. Should he have a safe underneath his bed? Yes. Okay. He is a cat burglar, after all, and he understands where the best place to hide stuff is, and that's in a safe underneath your bed. Okay, wonderful. Do we need any more containers? Should we have, like, uh, like a pile of suitcases for, like, all of his travels and stuff? Probably not, really. He doesn't really need a tool chest and stuff. He's got space for all of that kind of crap elsewhere. So let's just sort of, like, decorate with, like, some of these little boxes. I fucking love these little boxes. They look so great. Holy fuck. This fucking bunker is looking great, actually. It's, it's really coming along. I'm really excited about this. All right. So, of course, the next thing that we need is a massive, massive ashtray right next to Rufio's bed for him to smoke his cigarellos in and stuff as well. 
And of course, no trash mansion is complete without a cigarette dispenser. Awesome. All right. Uh, do we need a place for dog to live? Uh, probably at some point. Do we want to have a Diamond City radio um, in our room as well? I'm thinking, yeah. And let's turn this bad boy on as well. There we go. Now we can listen to some banging tunes while we're inside our trash bunker. Ah, what a wonderful morning. Look at that. Rufio Lorenzo has spent the night, his first night, in his trash bunker, newly decorated. And things are looking up for this man out here in the wasteland. Look, that sad Asian guy there in his blue dress working on salvaging parts from the house. Everybody is just going about their business. Ah, oh, man, this place is getting pretty big. It's pretty fucking sweet. All right, so let's see what this place looks like during the day. Oh, yeah, we also need a chair here for Rufio to do his studies at. Uh, and, of course, when I say Rufio needs to do his studies, he's studying the ways of the cat burglar. There we go. And I think also he needs possibly a massive ashtray out here too so that he can do some smoking outside on the balcony nice okay let's try this out we're gonna sit in the chair look at that this is this is amazing look at this you got the shelter from the blistering sun we could just sit here and watch everybody go about their business I'm like fucking pablo escobar out here this is fucking awesome holy crap good job rufio you've done it all right so We've got the shitter in here with the magazine rack um, and the bathtub and a shelf as well so that he can put like his toiletries and stuff on. Uh, we can improve that probably later. We've got a cigarette dispensing machine, lots of priceless art, a radio, and just generally a really nice bedroom for old Rufio here. He's got a chair here. We'll probably be able to make him a TV as well. Of course, there's nothing to watch in the wasteland, but don't tell Rufio that. Uh, there's a safe underneath the bed and if we go downstairs we have all of this room to move all of the shelving and everything in uh, so that we can uh, make this bottom area his like trophy room and Rufio museum we can line the halls here with some art and stuff as well what do we still need to do uh, we need to hook up some power to the uh, trash bunker but uh, and then move some of the stuff in but otherwise it's looking pretty good let's take a look at it from over here <laughs> maybe that's not such a good idea because the roof is like a bit of an ass but still we got this like nice little place out here that we can take a oh look at that and look if you really wanted to you could spy on old rufio you could like come up here and you could stare into here and you could see what he was up to that's pretty fucking sweet though like so far as a compound this place is really coming along all right well there you go a trash bunker for the king of trash out here in the wasteland. Rufio Lorenzo, the Wally of the Commonwealth, who goes out and he collects all manner of doodads and brings them back for his trophy room. And now he's got like a, an actual trophy room set up, uh, which is quite good. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, altogether, that took me um, around or about two hours to build. <laughs> To give you some idea of how fussy the controls are and how much you have to mess around with stuff but i'm quite happy with the result i mean it still needs a little bit of work but i'll do like the bits and pieces moving this stuff into it and stuff uh probably later uh in terms of building stuff there's many many settlements left to be um built on here so i think the next time we come back and build something we'll probably do something at the drive-in or, or maybe at the uh sunshine tidings co-op or, or something like that we need to build like some settlements and pack them with settlers and get the trade routes open and stuff like that it'll be pretty sweet all right well uh as usual thanks very much for watching uh if you like this make sure to like the video it really helps uh and is uh just great in general and of course if you didn't like this make sure you dislike the video as well which doesn't actually help but is there for you to use it in that capacity anyway so feel free excellent all right, well, as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.